Deputy of Bay Area School concerned for their students' safety following a bee scare not far from campus. And neighbors spotting what they thought was a nest of Africanized killer bees not far from campus. Well, it turns out they're just regular honeybees, but school leaders are still concerned. Of course, Trachman taking action to find out what is being done to keep your kids safe. Well, Linda, we have breaking news. Just moments ago, the pest control company, along with the Manatee County School District, blocked off the roadway leading to King Elementary School. They put up a ladder on the tree where this bee's nest is located. Now, I talked to the school district for quite a while this afternoon, and they told me they have no plans to stop the order to remove the bee's nest, despite complaints from the Homeowners Association, which says that the bees should stay. Africanized not just one comes out, they all come out. And you'll know it. But master beekeeper Kevin Lausman says after standing directly under this three foot long hive containing thousands of bees, not a single one flew close to us. In fact, one bee that fell from the hive even crawled up his arm without stinging. If they were Africanized and were this close, they'd be coming after as us. The hive is located on private property in a tree on the Indian Springs development and the Manatee County School District got permission to hire a pest removal company which told the homeowners association it planned to destroy the nest. The school's principal says he's worried kids will get stung by the bees. Comes out here throws a stick or stone and when there's nobody here at the school to uh, supervise them or uh, watch out for them. But normal honeybees have become increasingly rare and valuable and are actually used to dilute the gene pool of dangerous killer bees in Florida. We're trying to stop the spread of Africanized bees coming into the area. If you take away all the bees, then you're making it real easy for the exotic bees to move in. The Indian Springs homeowner's president says he's opposed to destroying the nest, but would rather have it moved to a different location. Meanwhile, residents have been ordered to stay inside this evening when the exterminators arrive. I know they're very aggressive. You know, if you mess with their hives and stuff, they're very aggressive. Yeah. So they'll come up and, well, attack you. <laughs> now, I talked with the Homeowners Association president. He would rather that they wait one day so that the Florida Beekeepers Association can bring out a special crew that can transport the nest and relocate it to a place where the bees will be safe and away from the public and their resources can still be used. Now, the school district told me that they really don't care about the bees. They are more concerned about the safety of students. They're afraid that if kids get close to this bee's nest, they could get stung. However, we are told that based on the size of this nest, about three feet long, it has been here for over a year. And so far, no kids have been stung and no one had even noticed it until now. We're live in Bradenton, Chris Strunkman, ABC Action News.